Many people think they can remain anonymous online, even when it comes to crime. But the police say they are watching. Behind this door, detectives believe a man has been downloading and sharing images of child abuse. Inside the house, he hands over a computer memory stick that was hidden behind a desk, and he's taken into custody. In many ways, this is where the investigation begins. Everything that's been found inside the house has to be forensically examined. And that means memory cards, CDs, hard drives, and of course, computers themselves. As is, uh, is quite often uh, the case with these individuals, they've, uh, they've never been in trouble with the police before. And uh, they seem to be under the illusion that they can uh, continue to uh, download indecent imagery on the internet and uh, that they will, they'll never be caught. Increasingly, the police here in Lancashire are concerned not just about paedophiles sharing images, but also using computers and smartphones to make contact with children. Ryan was 13 years old when a friend's suggestion popped up on Facebook. It led to him getting into contact and into a sexually abusive relationship with a man 10 years older than him. I'd received all the warnings and seen it all on TV and stuff like that, not to talk to strangers on the internet and stuff, but I just kind of thought something like that wouldn't really happen to me. Like, you never do. Is this continuing to have an effect on your life now? Sometimes I wake up and, like, remember it, and I get upset and I just get depressed and feel horrible and stuff, but then some days I, I, I feel better and, like, I got through it and stuff. Lancashire Police says 20% of the child sexual exploitation cases it investigates involve the offender making first contact with the victim over the internet. These officers are part of a dedicated team that tracks suspected paedophiles and what they're looking at online. Senior detectives are acutely aware that the murderers of both Tia Sharp and April Jones searched for and viewed child pornography before they killed. The viewing and sharing of indecent images is often in, an indicator of live contact abuse, whether that's abuse within the family, abuse of others, or indeed in those two horrific homicides that took place of children, uh, an indicator of more serious violence. Parents have long warned their children about the dangers posed by strangers, but it's no longer just in play parks or on the streets where they can be approached. The modern world requires new ways of protecting innocence. Chris Buckler, BBC News.